Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. <laughs> Keystroke shortcuts are a great way to execute commands in BricsCAD really quickly. For example, I can press function key F2 to display the prompt history, press it again to get rid of it. Or I can press the control key and the A key to select all objects in the drawing. Now, I can't show you which keys I'm pressing in this video, unfortunately, but I can show you the effects of what happens. So I'll show the function key names on the screen as I press them. There are a couple dozen shortcut keystrokes. How do you know what they all are? Well, the easy way to do it is to press the F1 key for help. Now there's a shortcut keystroke right there. Then once you're in help, click user guide, user interface, keyboard shortcuts. And there's the entire list. As you scroll through them, you can see there's uh, function keys, control keys, and uh, shift keys, and some cursor keys that control different parts of BrickScan. Now I recommend you go over here to the print button, print out a copy, and highlight the shortcuts you think you're most likely to use the most. You can create your own keyboard shortcuts or else uh, modify the existing ones through the Customize dialog box. Let's open it now. Go to Tools, choose Customize, and then the Keyboard tab. Here's the list of uh, all the uh, shortcuts with the notable exception of the function keys, and I'll get to those later. Now, you can see if you uh, click on a particular shortcut, you can see that uh, the function of Control 2 is to open the Explorer. Uh, Control B is to uh, toggle the snap. Control C is to copy entities to the clipboard, and so on. Let's create a new one. So we're gonna go right-click BricsCAD, append shortcut, and then choose the command. I want to assign control three to the working sets command. So we've selected working sets. Okay, down here is the new one. We still have to assign the keystroke. Click here, press control three, and you're done. That's how simple it is. Click okay to check it, and now I'll press control three, and there's the working sets dialog box. Now even though function keys aren't listed in that uh, customized dialog box, you can redefine them. For example, the F4 key toggles the tablet. Now if you never use the tablet, then you could redefine F4 to do something else. Let's see how that goes. Let's open up the customized dialog box, go to the keyboard tab, and then right click BricsCAD. This is all exactly the same as before, append shortcut. This time I'm going to assign the close all command to F4. So we got that. Now in the key field, I press the F4 key and click OK. Now let's try pressing F4 and see what happens. Close all. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.